No, 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 no. Dating non-vegans? I find it weird. This is a bit like dating somebody who goes to cuckoo clan meetings. I literally want to go have an intimate relationship with somebody who is totally different in morality than you. Somebody who has absolute and terrible sense of right or wrong. I don't care that something is legal, and I think any logical sane person also not. We care about justice and ecology. There is not something justifiable about eating animal corpses in this damn time. Animals don't want to be your food. And anybody who says that animals want to be their food should be placed in a mental hospital. I'm say change my mind about it. I mean what's more insane than a slaughterhouse? I tell you animal corpses consumers carnists walking around acting like their lifestyle don't cause any harm. Like what I do is peaceful and not violent and that they don't support violence three times a day or more. <sighs> Say that vegans, we are the self-righteous one. When we speak up for living beings, how wants to be free? Any times hurt from something such stupid and insane. We are not a self-righteous one. It is not self-righteous to speak up for disenfranchised groups of living beings. Because that's what animals are. If you don't believe me, mate, check out the Cape Blitz Declaration of Consciousness. Dating one non-vegan is also similar to dating on an anti-Semitic person. Specifically, when you care about um, equality of human rights, have one inter relationship, coming so close to somebody, or was maybe dating a hitman. Dating a slaughterhouse worker is 100% similar to dating a hitman hitman have to make his have to make his money maybe can he not be very nice to you but he kills others cuts throats um, smells like blood when he comes home maybe sometimes not because he cleans himself in the water um, but it is a disgusting thing and I should not call it a job, I call it an abomination. Or maybe I should call it a job, if you believe job stands for just overbroke. <laughs> this is all about your measures of communication. Dating one non-vegan is like dating a mafioso. Somebody how Thinks it is normal and natural to kidnap people and exploit them and abuse them and sell them for prostitution. Just like dating a pimp. You can say. Maybe he exploits you or not because you are his girlfriend. But he exploit other women. He destroyed other earthlings. I will never, even if I did, was attracted to the opposite gender or sand or to my own one. Date a non-vegan.
because their morals are so messed up. Specifically, when I have explained why I'm vegan and I choose to commit genocide or paying for genocide. Dating non-vegans is like dating a Charles Manson. Charles Manson did have never committed any acts of um, murder himself. But he damn well ordered people to do it, supply and demand, murder by proxy, Like carnage do, that pay people to murder innocent living beings. There's morally no difference between our species and cows, chickens and turkeys. I like to debate you on that. Come on my live stream and I will roast you to hell in Thursday. Or maybe on Saturday. It will be so fun and funny, mate. I can also show you some pictures from the concentration camps. You are paying for to stay in business. To me, it is even worse. Look to how much Jews and mental disabled or also just people being on die uh, I feel actually uh, in problem bringing problem executed around six yeah, yeah. Jews are killed five to six and gypsies and um, mental mental ill people and blacks were executed but now yeah, people think about there are any year 70 billion white animals killed and 2.8 trillion marine animals in one year alone so how can we have the audacity to feel offended when we call what we do to the animals a holocaust check your privilege Check your privilege, people. There have nothing be ever a holocaust close to the, the malignant poison as that we are right now doing to billions of land animals and trillions of marine animals. Oh yeah. The word animal comes from the Latin word anima, which means life, which means soul, which means conscious. Think about what I have said. When darkness and light become one, the reality is smitten away and the truth become visible. 